in terms of studying intensification <coughs> of chemotherapy based on day six marrow in acute leukemia. Peter McCullough was the leader with Roy Clark at the PMH, led the first OCOP trial in stage one breast cancer lumpectomy, radiation versus no radiation. And it was one of the three or four trials in the results in the, from the global experience that led to radiation being standard post lumpectomy. Bill Herenick felt that more chemotherapy was better. He led the NCICCTG LY, I think it was three, but I can't remember the number, <laughs> in lymphoma of escalated adriamycin and CHOP. My first grant was <coughs> my thesis from the HRM program, it used to be called the DMNE, and it was 12 weeks of chemotherapy versus 36 weeks of chemotherapy. And the trial was stopped early because this 12-week therapy was ineffective. And it's relevant to Dr. Whalen's talk about early adoption. Hundreds of patients had been treated with the 12-week bomb, as we called it, and likely it was inferior therapy. Dr. Arnold, who had stopped in Newfoundland on the way from uh, Southampton, was into chemo prevention and did a very unique study of vitamin A and see if it would uh, change the sputum cytology. I think that's when uh, the partnership, probably not the right term to use, of Arnold and uh, Brenda, whatever her name is, uh, started. Uh, I can't remember. It's this. Uh, it's this. Uh, you know, age. <laughs> they did some very. In, in, they had advertisements on buses and all sorts of radio stuff like that. Trial, trials were fun then. They were cheap. Academic trials drove the agenda, not the drug companies. Best of all, we didn't have to pay for the, any of the tests. We dumped them on the hospital to pay. <laughs> and REBs? Who, who, what was an REB? <laughs> but then the new millennium came. Aha! The Bible! The new Bible! initially started in the European Union and by pharma, it became, we all worshipped it. And you know what I mean, the ICH GCP guidelines. And then we really got hit by a tsunami. Government got into the act with new legislating, new legislation leading to increased regulatory requirements. AE and SAE reporting out the wazoo. <laughs> REBs had to increase in size to manage the paper coming from all the AEs and SAEs from around the world. Very little uniformity for REBs between the different sites. You get one center saying, uh, uh, commenting X, and then another center commenting why. And the work of Delphs et al. was a wake-up call. Several hundred steps <coughs> to get a trial activated. It did take up to a year to get a trial going. Oh yeah, and everybody wanted a piece of the action. The university dean chairs of departments, heads of hospitals, the overheads skyrocketed. <laughs> oh, we have to hire a whole new layer of people to deal with the tsunami. A new layer of contract specialists needed. <clears throat> Just like the REBs, a lack of consistency. 
amongst the contract specialists and all across the country. Privacy Commission. Oh my God, Dr. Kevorkian. <laughs> nutcase. Absolute nutcase. Thank God they hired a new one. <laughs> Pharma driving the research questions. <coughs> Pay as you go. Oh yeah, we've got a few of those uh, fruitcakes in the radiology department. <laughs> DY. That's the initial. We're drowning, folks. We just can't afford it. Who wants the hassle of doing trials? I've decided I'm going to spend the remainder of my days raising German shepherds <laughs> and figuring out ways that I can buy and keep cars and not tell my wife. <laughs> Thank you very much.